guys, welcome back to Dragon Age 2. We left on a pretty big cliffhanger last time. We are potentially on the hunt for a serial killer. We got a little bit of a hint, and that includes us checking out some sort of foundry in Lowtown at night. So we're going to head there, um, because as you guys remember, we are on the hunt for a missing woman named Annette. And if it was just one missing woman, fine. We, but we found out there has been up to five missing women, so that gives me serial killer vibes. So, naturally, I'm very interested, and we're gonna go see if we can stop this from happening. Oh, right, the rusty metal spy district, my favorite part of town. Can we leave now? Not yet, Varric. We haven't even caught the killer. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so here is the Dark Foundry, very aptly named, if there is indeed a serial killer in here. There's someone here, all right. Guess we'll have to find out who that is. Oh! Oh dear, okay! We've got shades and demons. Looks like there's some blood magic going on here. Man, yeah. I gotta agree with you, Varric. We got abominations, we got demons, we got shades. Why do I have a feeling we might not find the, the ladies alive? Definitely not a good look. Let's see if we can find that guy we saw. Oh, sack of bones! Great! In here is Nanette's ring. Those are... Those are human bones, aren't they? I'm gonna be sick. Don't look, Bethany. A, hand, a ring and a pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Gislaine. It might belong to Nanette. So, serial killer was probably right on the money. I think this guy was kidnapping women and using them in blood magic rituals. Unfortunately, it seems like he escaped, so we're not going to be able to capture him, but we can at least bring back what we found. Alright, so here we are at the gallows, and as you can see, here's Emmerich, so let's tell him what we've found. You might want to see this. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. <sighs> then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. Yeah, they're probably dead. If they're not dead, watch out for a bunch of boneless women flopping through the streets. Ew, Hawk. Some respect. That is an inappropriate joke. Slow to react, but this needs official support. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. There we go. Quest completed. The first sacrifice. Amaric is going to continue his investigation into the missing women. And so I guess we should also bring the ring up to Nanette's husband. While we're here, though, we have Templar recruits that we need to talk to. To refresh our memory on what we're doing here, um, we need to speak with the Templar recruits to find out what happened to Kirin, which was uh, some lady was looking for her brother who seems to have disappeared. So let's talk to Templar recruit Hugh. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. Oh, good. We'll just be leaving then to go somewhere that isn't the gallows. <laughs> to the void with that. Bethany is not happy about being here. But our orders. The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. Why do you have to keep quiet? Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. No. No Templars in this family. <laughs> Bethany, the stop it. You're being so obvious. Without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. Well, that sounds they suspicious. Must have their very That'll suspicious. Be a great if you go missing next. So there are others missing? I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Oh dear. Umad and Karen were the most recent. I want to help. You can trust me. I'm only trying to keep Karen safe. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Her own people. That's horrible. 
And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Tell me about this initiation. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. Can I talk to this Wilmot? If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it. Right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Well, this sounds all sorts of suspicious, so let's definitely go see if we can find them. So if we need to go outside Kirkwall... Um, Wilmid's Camp, here we go. A new area on our map. I guess that's where we're headed. Hello? Anyone here? This looks kind of spooky. Pile of bones? Yeah, definitely spooky. And just they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy! Were it that easy? <laughs> Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! What are you doing? Why are you doing this to Wilmot? Answer me. It's the Night Captain. Don't. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! To me! Oh dear! Wilmot was actually... a demon? Make her preserve us. Guess we're gonna have to step in here, hey? <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'd rather not get killed by abominations, so let's let's do this. Just one rage demon left. Nope, that's not true. Bethany is battling an abomination over here. Bethany, I'm coming! I got you. Us hawks stick together. Now, back to the rage demon. Oh, it's down! Excellent. Good work, team. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? Was he an abomination? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. I'm glad I was here. You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I have been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmot was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. Why did you attack him? If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. I don't know if I really like that tactic, but alright. So there's no ritual? The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. So what do you think happened? Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the circle. Not all mages are bad. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. 
I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. I'm looking for Karen. I was trying to find another recruit, a friend of Wilmot's. Do you know where Karen is? He also disappeared. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. The brothel, huh? I'd be willing to search there. The order would truly be in your debt if you help us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. Boo-hoo, poor guy. <laughs> no one at the brothel will sleep with you. In the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. All right, well, this seems like it's going to be quite the conspiracy, not a simple missing persons case. We got lots of dead abominations, lots of loot, and then I guess we'll go meet Cullen. All right, guess we're going to a brothel. So we'll head up to Hightown. We have to go at night, because I'm assuming brothels aren't open in the, in the morning hours. <laughs> but of course, we loaded in on the complete opposite side of Hightown, so let's go for a little walk here. Here we are, the Blooming Keep Rose. I'd rather not be mistaken for a client of the Rose, thank you. We're going in there, Aveline, so you're gonna have to get over it. <laughs> All right, here we are. We've been here before. Hello. Do you need something, honey? Do you know a Wilmud or a Karen? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Um, I'll say people's lives are at stake. We have a lot of missing Templars. If we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. <laughs> Let me look through the books. Wilmud, Karen... Here we go. Wilmud came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. I love how she said that so cookie cutter. Uh, the exotic wonder? That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. Oh. You should hear what some of the others are called. I can't lie, I'm interested, but uh, I gotta stay on topic here. Do you know anything else? Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilma's favorite position... I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? I have Got it. From the cellar. Send around some more okay, numbers. let's find this exotic lady from the east. Good thing we have uh, a mini-map, because otherwise we'd have to go to every room in this place, but looks like we're heading right over here. Hello? Are you just dancing all by yourself? Okay. I mean, get it. Get it, queen. You don't need to dance for an audience. You can dance for yourself. Iduna, right? Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmud a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmud. Wilmud. That doesn't sound familiar. Drop the act. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. What? Whatever do you mean? I am getting suspicious feelings right now. Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Talk about trying to change the subject. Talk. Go easy on this lovely creature. Beric, you keep your head in the game. Your friend. What's wrong with you? We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? Yes, yes. But certainly there's no harm mixing a little business and pleasure. Uh, there is in this case, Varric. Just answer my question. I'm here on business. Karen. Wilmot. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? I'm asking the questions. Uh-oh. It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. 
she will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. Sister, help me! Bethany, stop her! Let go of my brother! Yes, Bethany! Sister of the Year! A powerful she mage in her own right. Spare me, Messer. Tell me everything, now. You're going to answer all my questions, and if there's even a hint of magic. Tarani put me here, to send biddable Templar recruits to the Sanctuary. Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Keren weeks ago. But after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Tarani's idea. You're going to the Templars. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. Next stop, the Sanctuary. And some answers. All right, this is definitely shaping up to be very interesting. There are a lot of people who go missing in Kirkwall, and somehow we've become tasked to track them all down. But it does lead to some interesting mysteries. Let's go see if we can find these recruits. To our favorite place in town, Darktown! Hello! Any blood mages around here? Who may have some Templars, who may want to talk? Looks like they're over here. Oh, another hidden passageway. All right, my favorite. A whole sanctuary of blood mages. I hope we can stand against them. Have faith, Bethany. I don't like the looks of this. We're gonna mess them up Alter. as soon as I disarm this trap. Oh, and they have shades just waiting for us. Good centuries, I guess. Holy shades! It is like a shade party in here. There's so many. <laughs> Ow. This is not necessarily the party I wanted to attend. Phew. Alright. There we go. We defeated the sentries. We can loot their bodies for some yummy yummy demonic ash. Now we'll keep moving. Oh, hang on. There's a corpse over here. Oh dear. I guess we're in the right place. Over here we've got a little bit of lore on the veil. I detest this notion that the veil is some manner of invisible curtain that separates the world of the living from the world of the spirits. Whether it be called the fade or the beyond, as a matter of racial politics, I refuse to indulge in at the moment. There is no this side and that side when it comes to the veil. One cannot think of it as a physical thing or a barrier or even a shimmering wall of holy light. Thank you very much for that image, your perfection. Think of the veil instead as opening one's eyes. Before you opened them, you saw our world as you see it now. Static, solid, unchanging. Now that they are open, you see our world as the spirits see it. Chaotic, ever-changing. A realm where the imagined and the remembered have as much substance as that which is real. More, in fact. A spirit sees everything as defined by will and memory. This is why they are so very lost when they cross the veil. In our world, imagination has no substance. Objects exist independently of how we remember them or what emotions we associate with them. Mages alone possess the power to change the world with their minds, and perhaps this forms the nature of a demon's attraction to them. Who can say? Regardless, the act of passing through the veil is much more about changing one's perceptions than a physical transition. The veil is an idea. It is the act of transition itself, and it is only the fact that both living beings and spirits find the transition difficult that gives the veil any credence as a physical barrier at all. Hello? Any blood mages in here? I just want to talk. Lots of corpses in here. Holy moly. Oh, and they're coming to life! Oh, good god. I shouldn't have looked so closely. Uh-oh. Alright, corpses down. I want to say that means we're getting close to the mages. These corpses stayed down, so let's loot them. Oh, blood mages! How much further are you going to make me walk? I think Hawk has great perception and can spot those traps. Um, what the heck? Oh, they're there. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. 
Careful, Hawk. She may be an abomination. I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. What are you doing here? Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. Attack me, I dare you. Go ahead. Try to give me to your demons. Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Where are the recruits? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap. So compost heap? Waste. One way to say. Your plan is insane. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. Well, I kind of figured it would come to this in the end, but uh, here we are fighting against these crazy people who want to make our bodies homes for demons. Definitely put a stop to that. Down she goes. Alright, so can we help? Oh, this is Karen. Karen, are you okay? What is going on here? Is oh, it, he's alive. Is it over? I was worried he was dead for a second there. Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Is he possessed, Bethany? Bethany, can you tell if there's a demon in him? Sorry. As it happens, I've tried to avoid learning much about demons. That kind of knowledge is frowned on in an apostate. I mean, fair enough. Uh, I have to tell the Templars. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I, I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm alright. Tell my sister. I must go. Cullen needs to hear about this mess. Yeah, sorry, dude. I don't want to, you know, rat on you or anything, but shit could go sideways if you are possessed, so... We're gonna tell Cullen. In the meantime, let's loot these corpses and these sacks, and then I guess we'll get out of here. Alright, so I presume Cullen is at the gallows again? Looks like it. How come there he is. Never had children? I mean, sorry if that's too personal. It's alright. I was a soldier and he was a Templar. We knew that our personal lives would have to wait. Distance never mattered. But we ran out of time. It is what it is. Now that he's gone, do you ever wish... That's too personal. <laughs> Come on, Bethany, you can't pry too much. All right, back to Cullen. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. Demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Marsha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Not all mages are like that. Tarani was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True, not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster, from the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. 
Mages cannot be treated like people. All right, that's going too far, Colin. Mages cannot be treated like people. Maybe we shouldn't be arguing with the nice Templar. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. There has to be a better way. There's fault on both sides. We must find a way to live in peace. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andres. I mean, it's a start, start, I guess. I will look into it. All right. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He deserves mercy. What happened wasn't his fault. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. Hmm. Well, now we've got a decision to make. I don't understand why me, a completely neutral third-party outsider, is making this decision. But, uh... I'm gonna say Karen should keep his status. At this point, they know they can keep a watchful eye on him if anything goes weird. Um, there's no evidence to prove that he is being controlled by a demon, so let's go with the innocent till proven guilty and say he should keep his status. Karen did nothing wrong. You can't strip his livelihood on the off chance Tarane succeeded. Please, Night Captain. I'll prove I'm loyal. Ask me anything. My brother's a good man, sir. He would never succumb to a demon. Perhaps it is best to keep our enemies close. We can watch him far better here than in the city. So be it. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Happy to help. Also happy to get paid. <laughs> well, there you go. Quest completed. Varric and Aveline's friendship went up for me. We got four gold, which is great, and brings us to 21 gold, which is about half of what we need to get started on our journey. And uh, we, we helped out some people, which is always good, right? Always feels good to help people. Alright guys, so I took a little detour here into the Low Town Bazaar to do a little uh, shopping and basically selling to get some more money. And I see over here we have someone named Sergeant Melindra, who looks like she might have a quest for us, so let's let's say hello. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the Carter's coffers. They must be stopped. Who? What? That was the most vague quest ever. Uh, if we go to our journal, it, it looks like the quest we got is something called Miracle Makers. Eliminate the Carta swindl Swindlers operating in Lowtown. And if you want to know who the Carta is, the Carta are the castless dwarves of Orzmar. They have few prospects. Consigned to live in a crumbling ruin on the social and economic fringes of the mighty dwarven capital, most resort to begging, prostitution, or crime. Just as all rivers eventually join the sea, all castless who turn to crime eventually become part of the Carta. The hero of Ferelden decimated the ranks of this ancient gang while rallying the dwarves to join in the battle against the archdemon Urthemiel. Unable to recover the power they once had in Orzmar, they turned their attention topside, using groups of surface-dwelling dwarves to smuggle weapons, lyrium, surface luxuries, people, and other goods between Orzmar and human lands. Despite the flow of business, its members are still desperate and violent. With no strong leader to reign in their excess, they have little sense of dwarven honor and freely break their word, double-cross allies, and renage. Renage? Renege? I don't know that word. <laughs> On deals. So that's interesting. So we did uh, meet the Carta when we were in Orzammar in, uh, in Origins, but I didn't realize they were now operating on the surface, so... Let's see if we can't find them here around uh, Lowtown and, and clear them out. Oh, I think I might have found them. Hello there, suspicious dwarves. No refunds on the ashes, friend. What are you if talking about? Doesn't favor you, that's between you and him, isn't it? Okay. Guess uh, I guess we're not going to talk at all. I have no idea what you're talking about with the ashes, but I guess it's something that you tried to swindle on some poor person. 
You mistook me for a purchaser, and now, well, looks like you're all gonna die. Alright, down they go. We left quite the mess, but... The Carta Swindlers were killed. Let's go back and talk to the sergeant. Hey, we did it! The thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. <laughs> Alright, cool, thanks. Easy way to make some money and get some experience points. I will take the hint and leave. We have one other side quest to do, which is Magistrate's Orders. We need to go to the old ruin outside the city and apprehend the escaped criminal for Magistrate Venard. So let's do that now as well. Alright, here we are. This should be where the escaped criminal is, and I guess that's him straight ahead. Hi. Oh, you didn't attack me on sight. That's a good sign. Man you've cornered here in the ruins. Oh, these are the guards he sent. Okay. So you're the reinforcements right. the magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little shemlin children he's after. What do you mean? Please, calm down and tell me what happened. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her. I want him dead. My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. And you are? Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elwyn. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. How does this go unnoticed? There must be some humans who would take offense to these disappearances. We're nothing to them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the magistrate won't take our word over his. Sounds like the man's a monster. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. You couldn't turn to the guards. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What about you men here? What do you say about all this? Yes. What do you have to say? They won't go in after him. They're stalling. Trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the magistrate's orders. I mean, oh god, this is, again, giving Hawk the tough choices. I really want to help this guy, but at the same time, it's not my responsibility to dole out justice. I can at least go in there and get him, unlike th these guys are doing. But I'm gonna say I, I can't decide his fate. The magistrates of Kirkwall will pass judgment, not you or me. I would like that to be true. Me too. You don't understand how things work for us elves. There'll be no justice. You'll see. Mm. That's really sad. I get it. But at the same time, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Oh, it's hard. Let's just go in. Oh, these are some fancy ruins. Looks like we're into the deep roads a bit here. Oh god, and there's spiders! No! <laughs> <laughs> the worst part of the deep roads. Well, I hate this place already, so uh, this this should be fun. They're literally everywhere. Oh my god, I'm itchy. Oh, 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 he's touching me. I hate it. I hate it. Why do all video games need to include giant spiders? I love RPGs, but there are always some sort of spider enemies that I despise. Like, ugh. So gross. Wow, oh, this looks like an ominously empty room. Aha, of course, I knew it. <laughs> Give me a room, a giant room that's empty and just wait till it's filled with spiders. Ugh. Not only are there spiders, there's also an arcane horror here. Good old deep roads. Always got something fun for you to fight. Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, 
Your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Kelder? Who is Kelder? The man who took me. Where is this Kelder? Tell me where he is. He let me go when I tried to get out, but then those He let you go? started coming out of the walls. I thought I heard him calling for me. I almost went back to him. I didn't want to be eaten. But Kelder, he was... He hit me, told me I was nothing. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, we don't do that. I think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. But he's still responsible. It doesn't matter if the Maker himself was telling this man to hurt you. It's still his own damn decision. I don't believe that. He couldn't stop himself. Please. <sighs> this isn't my decision. I'm taking Kelder back to Kirkwall. They'll figure out what to do with him there. Maybe they can help him. Maybe. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father. I'm just happy there. to see that she is safe. All right, let's go deal with this Kelder. Watch your step. Oh God, no! I didn't watch my step, and now there's now there's skeletons, and oh, this is what I get for not watching my step. All right, Kelder, you may have paused us momentarily. Well, we got stuck in a sticky trap, but I'm on the way again. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You came here to die? You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart. Forgotten down here. Not protected by my father. You weren't what I expected. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me... and what I've done... hidden away. I'm disgusted by the both of them. He's ignoring his duties. The Magistrate is supposed to protect the people of the city, and that includes the Elves. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me. But he can't. No one can. That Elf girl... She had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. That's why you kill them? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They force me. The demons don't like it when they cry. Why did you let the girl go? Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her, she was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good? So pure? I feel sorry for you. It's obvious that you're not well. You need help. No, I'm not mad. It's the demons. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. Goodness gracious, this game, uh, we're, you know, we're not very far in and it's already given us quite the few choices that are very morally gray. This is a very interesting one. We have a man here who's clearly suffering from mental illness, maybe schizophrenia. He kidnaps elden, elven children. He can't help it. He hears voices in his head. His father is protecting him, but at the same time, he's allowing him to do these things. Then at the same time, you can also tell that this guy is a good person. He let that girl go. He wants us to kill him. He's sorry. So it's like, what do we do here, right? 
best case scenario is he goes and he actually gets mental help that he needs. But with his magister father probably not wanting to be implicated with a quote-unquote insane son, I don't know if that will happen. At the same time, though, I, I'm going to stick with my guns and what I said when I came in here. I'm not going to take the law into my own hands. We're just going to take him back to the city and hopefully those people make the right decision. Let the court sort this out. It may end the same way, eventually. I know. No! I don't want to hurt anyone else. I'd rather die. Poor thing. Alright, I guess we gotta go chase him down. Lovely. By the looks of the mini-map, I think he's big, back in this big empty room where there were spiders. Are there now more spiders? There's skeletons now. Pick your poison. Clearly Kelder isn't bothered with the carnage that's going on behind him. Um, what's happening here? I won't try to run again. I'll go whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm glad you're being cooperative. Also, were those the corpses and stuff? It was just con convenient that they arrived the same time Kelder was here. I don't think Kelder summoned them. We, we fought them before we even met Kelder. I I don't know. Maybe the circle's wrong and he's possessed after all. Who knows? I'm just trying my best here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Kelder, I... I said not to hurt you. I said... Shush, girl. You don't know what you're saying. You're still in shock. You let him live, even after what he did. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You shem stick together. I'm sorry, Elrin. I need to take him back to the Magistrate. At least Leah is safe now. I need to get my family out of Kirkwall. That's the only way we'll be safe from that monster. We'll take the prisoner from here. The Magistrate will be happy to see him in one piece. Alright, so we need to go tell the Magistrate what has transpired. Hopefully he will give us a good reassuring answer about what's going to be done, but I have a feeling it's probably not going to be that simple. Oh, while we're here in the Hightown Market, we can also give Nanette's ring to Gislaine. This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful. Forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? Uh. I w can I say on her body? I don't- I want to tell him the truth so he won't get his hopes up that she's coming back, but at the same time, saying on her severed hand is pretty- pretty savage. I- I guess we'll say that. It was on Nanette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Oh, I see. Well, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Well, he paid us, so in the end, I guess that's all that matters for us. Good luck, dude. Right, and over here is Magistrate Bernard. I found your son. Son. I don't know what you're talking about. Kelder is very sick. If you stop pretending nothing's wrong, maybe you can help him. You think you know it all, don't you? Your tone says there's truth to this. 
I am not going to lose my son because a handful of elves make up ridiculous stories. Are you serious? Make up ridiculous stories? What? That secret won't last. I won't talk, but he is known. How long before they connect him to you? I will protect my family no matter the cost for Elden. Would you do any different? Take your damned reward. Ugh. Done here. I was hoping... I don't know what I was hoping. But that really sucks. Clearly he's not gonna do anything about it. Ugh. We got our reward at least, our three gold, but that one definitely felt a little icky, which is unfortunate. But hey, we're just doing our best here, right? That's the motto of Hawk and Friends. I'm literally just a refugee from Ferelden, who's just out of indentured servitude, trying to make some money, trying to do my best. That's all any of us can do, really. There's some words of wisdom you can take from today's stream. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, so much for watching. We'll be back with more Dragon Age 2 very soon and uh, continue on our gold collecting quest before we can get into those damn deep roads. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.